الله
Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Sorry, do you want to um, use hot hat? It's just, it, they've never seen it before. Okay. It's just which teams, which teams they're, uh, yeah, I'm MC. Which teams are up on what matches. So, like, they can just look across here and see what matches. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I'm going to MC. Okay. Um, all right. So, yeah, this is just for that, so it's actually only going to work with them. I don't have a mic. I do have a mic. Ha. All right. Time to get going here. Um, welcome, everybody, to the first official match set in person in Maine this season, one day before Vex Worlds. <laughs> um, my name is Mike Murphy, and I'm the uh, coach at All Saints. I've got Dave Mullins over here, who's I mean, sorry, jeez, I'm the coach at John Baps. I'm thinking about All Saints. So we have All Saints over there bringing three robots and two teams, sort of three teams. We've got Cape Elizabeth J and their ghost team G, which is out with COVID shots at the moment. And we've got John Baps over here with uh, four plus or minus teams. Um, so this, this tournament is officially a scrimmage because we only have eight teams here um, we've also got billy b the famous referee from maine um, who has graced us with his presence um, he's legendary in in uh in vex and we're really thankful that he could come um, the way this is going to work you've all got your match schedules now there's going to be 10 matches per team and um, <clears throat> so there's 20 matches total. You can do the math and see that I'm right. Um, there'll be qualifier matches. They're roughly scheduled for nine minutes apart. We're going to catch up a little bit because we got a little late with the uh, technology here and getting people uh, inspected. Uh, so just be ready to go for the first bit. Um, there should be plenty of time in between matches. Nine minutes is a lot of reset time and run time. Um, after the qualifiers, first of all, everybody should know that everyone's going to be in a finals matchup today. So everybody makes it to finals automatically. So the, but there'll be two sets of finals. So what you're competing for today before we get to the finals around 1.30 or 2 is us, which tier of the finals group you're going to be in. There's going to be a lower tier and an upper tier. So the result of these first 20 matches is going to be a qualifier ranking, and that determines whether you're in the lower four or the upper four. And teams in, in those groups will choose up alliance partners and go through a best of three for finals victor. So everyone's going to be in a set of three final victory uh, matches at the end. There'll be an opportunity to run driver and programming skills at lunchtime after we finish our qualifiers. Um, and we'll run through those until we're done, and then we'll get right into the uh, teaming up and final matches. So, um, does anybody have any questions about this? I know for most of you, this is your first in person tournament this season. Um, Billy, do you want to give him any?
you know that push through um, technique you had with the Autobahn? That'll BQ you on the Autobahn. Because you're pushing a ball from this side over to the other side. It doesn't matter. Billy B said it would. You can go closer. I just can turn it down a little. And most importantly, this is supposed to be fun, so have lots of it. Um, okay, first match is between 2142-1S and 2142-E on the red and on the blue we have 2142d against 56g who is our ghost team so the ghost team needs a driver and a robot and they need to get on the field i'm just going to announce it from here i think okay the, uh... yeah we can run the music during yeah we just turn it down a little bit. Yep. Well, no, not on this computer. Yeah, it'll be good. Now. That's this team. Uh, somebody, Hayden, where's the, uh, you're not on. You're not on. No, you're not. You're B, you're 2140, no, you're 2142B. G is the multi it's the wheelchair bot and so on you're b no you're b he's b so elliot where's the uh where's the ghost bot yeah is it paired did you all right that's the g team yeah you're b yeah All right, you'll be up soon though, don't worry about it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Elliot, I would go grab your stuff and I'm not on your team. <laughs> All right. He's, he's B. B, yeah, B. 2142B. It should be, Elliot said it was paired. Yeah, it is. Elliot, yeah, he said it was paired. He had to give it a new brain because the brain wouldn't load the program. But he didn't have a controller. He didn't bring a controller down? No. Then he went up and got a controller, but that was after we had the brain. Okay. All you have to do is plug it in to the radio. You plug it into the radio jack. The controller or the battery? Here's the robot. So bring it over here. Where's your battery? Okay, it's on there. All right, so we just gotta plug that in. Okay. That's our battery. Should be linking up here. I'm going to turn it off and then on. Confirm? It looks like it. How do you? Oh, confirm, yeah. Usually that's what it says, but it might not be fully charged because. I'm just going to turn this off for a second. Okay. Yeah, it's on. Okay. 
Uh, battery needs to be plugged into a wall adapter and charging while this is happening, I think. I'm going to go... Yeah, right here. Here's one. Right there. Okay, here we go. Updating battery. It's linked. We're good. So in order to pair the battery, you have to plug it into the wall I think so. Well, not normally. It was downloading software. So it had to do that. Where? You can have three. There's small enough group here. Yeah, because we only have one field, so we're good. One, two, they're coming in now. So you have you have about fifty percent battery on this, so you should be good to go. Is this supposed to be out there now? Yeah. It's up. Just have fun. I let me see if it'll connect up. Hold on a second. I at least need to know I'm unplugging it. Oh, okay. I at least need to know how it works. It's just drive like this. So X spot is fifty six J you said? It's not linking up. Hold on, I'm gonna get Elliot over here. He knows this better than me. Elliot Elliot Yeah, All Saints is Cape G. I, they need help getting their r thing paired. Can you run over and give me a hand? Okay, so they're going to be over in a second with the G-Bot. Are they? Yeah. Elliot's just helping them pair it up. Oh, <laughs> All right. Where's the uh, mic? There we go. <coughs> Just stand over here. You can turn it up a little bit. Oh, okay. Huh? Yeah, I think that's. Ask uh, somebody who knows. <laughs> You got to run it like a competition program. So, yeah, you guys need to go get your safety glasses. Don't worry, they'll be a minute. So, You're just going to go in for for G? Okay. Yeah. What's the status? Do you want to jump out right after this and help him get that squared? Okay. We're gonna try and we're gonna run one match and then we're gonna try to get that figured out. Sure, and it's J. It'll, it'll it's G. 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 Yeah. Yep. All right. So we're gonna run the first match. We have we have the ghost bot over here, which is going to be a number of random robots throughout the day with random drivers, sort of the wild star wild card slot, if you will. Um, We're just getting plugged in here and ready to go. All robots are lined up and, and uh, looks like 2142D is still getting things set up and they're robots out of size at the moment. They're robots out of size at the moment. Not quite, there we go. So Red Alliance, Blue Alliance.
Okay, we've got 2142E doing a triple score in the corner. All right, so it looks like the end of autonomous. And we have, who's our winner? Wait, who's our winner? Red Alliance takes autonomous. Driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, we've got the super fast bot coming in from the side. The tiny little robot. D is over here running the corner. All Saints S is, uh, is making their rounds, taking balls out, descoring. Nice little pusher bot. Um, the E bot is, uh, uh, sorry, the, uh, the ghost robot is um, causing the E bot a lot of trouble. The uh, blue D over here is uh, trying to descore the center robot, of uh, the center goal. Boy, that's an awfully fast little robot. All right, there we go. Now, now red is, uh, is going for the, the side goal. So right now we've got um, nobody has a row at the moment, though red is working on one. It looks like they're about to get a row in the backfield. Okay, he got pinned, but he, he let him go. And they're still working with 20 seconds left. They're still working on a, on a red row in the back. Oh, looks like, uh, looks like there's a lost motor on the, on the fast spot, but it's still cooking along there just fine with one of its eight motors down. And we got three seconds left. And that's the end of the match. Here, hold that for a second. Looks like this is a red win, huh? I guess. So red one? Yeah, okay. All right, so the results of that first match, uh, we have red winning with 13 over blue had three points. Congratulations, red team. Uh, we're gonna reset the field now with our uh, nationally renowned field resetter, Charlie Fussell, who uh, reset fields down in Virginia a few weeks ago at a uh, Eastern US competition. He knows his stuff uh, really well. It looks like Shannon is approaching to help also set up the field. She is also a nationally renowned field setter. I'm wondering if we could get Emily Adams in here too to help set up the field. They know their stuff really well. You can be pretty assured that they will uh, get it right.
Yeah, it's blue is red, yeah. A couple people up there and then this gentleman over here, who are they? Uh, parents, yeah. So most of them, that's a, that student is on one of the teams and then that's a parent, that's a parent, yeah. All right, next match. Whoops, thank you. He said he did, but Please get this working somehow. It needs to just be set to run with a regular tank drive. That's it. This thing is insane. Yeah. It, I shut down. I, Ellie just got shut down. Ugh. Can you set this thing to run with I tank drive? I do not care about that thing. I know, but it's important. I, that's not something I am good at with, at making work. Yep. You know what? Screw it. I'll do it. Huh? It's different ports, but yeah, I suppose they could. I can try. They, they it takes them. It time takes time. them like it takes them an hour to do anything with the software. If you if you just have a minute to walk through it with them. I can try. Well, um, I'll just try and upload a drag code. Yeah. Huh? Someone from the uh, Red Alliance last match, a Blue Alliance. It's either 56G or 2142D last match. It's 2142D, I think. Thanks. Huh? Is that yours? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Aiden, when you're on with the S spot, yeah. take it really easy on him because, I don't know, you guys. You guys, are you guys the world spot? What? Are you guys doing the world this week or is it the other team? You guys, yeah. Yeah, the e-bot, just take it real easy on them if you're up against them because they're competing this week um, in skills. <laughs> so guys, over here, do you, you guys see the, the All Saints spot there? Do you guys see the All Saints spot? See the All Saints spot? They're competing in world skills, so be careful not to damage them in any way. Yeah, I hate it. I already told him. Well, don't worry about autonomous. I mean, just, you know, ramming it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we're ready.
All right, I think we're just about ready to begin the next match. On the blue side, challenging red, we have 2142H from John Bapst, Mantis, their first time on the field this season. And we have 56J, the Long Earth Society from Cape Elizabeth, Maine. Um, is this your, you guys did skills and uh, live remote. Yeah, so they're, they're veterans this season from remote competition. Over here on the red team, we have 21421E, Team Phoenix from All Saints Catholic School. They are the state champions in skills this year for middle school in Maine. And we have over here the dark horse robot that seems to keep appearing, 2142B. Um, it doesn't have a name. It, it, it is the, uh, we'll call it the dark horse. Um, from John Bapst and Red Team, are you ready? Blue, are you ready? Okay, in three, two, one, go! So we're running autonomous here. 56J has just dropped a blue ball in the top of their goal in the corner. Now they're dropping and one in the center. And they're going for the corner, going for the triple. Oh, and they did. It looks like they knocked a blue ball across the field, which gives red autonomous because they cannot knock a ball from one side of the field to the other and win autonomous. All right, so driver control begins in three, two, one, go. All right, 56J, a hooded bot. Looks an awful lot like 2142E. Trying to get away from the dark horse there. Uh, looks like the saint spot is, is not moving at the moment for some reason. 56, okay, there we go. 56J is uh, scoring blue balls, but the dark horse is undoing pretty much everything they do as soon as they do it. It's so fast. Uh-oh. Now 56J is pinning the dark horse. Okay, let him go. And now he's off. <clears throat> Over in the corner we have Mantis dragging in balls. They've got sort of a hybrid robot. They're able to carry balls around the field in the robot, take them out of the goals, and then shoot them back in. Looks like they're, they're moving around trying to find a good target for the blue that they've got on top of their robot now. Um, now they're feeding in a red. Now 56J and the dark horse over there in the corner are duking it out. And we've got 24 seconds left in the match. Looks like 56J is trying to make up for lost time here. They've got a row in their home row. And they've got a row in the middle. If they can just hold on to those two rows, they've got it. Two rows is an auto win in this game. And they've got now seven rows, six, no, five rows. And that's the end of the match, folks. It looks like Blue probably took this. They overcame their loss in autonomous. We'll see in a moment when the ref gives us our actual scores.
there any way you could send me an email link? Alice was wondering if she could see the uh, live stream. It's on the John Babs website, but I'll send you, Eric put it up, um, Facebook. But okay. I will send it to you, too. Um, actually, I'll just send it to Alice. There we go. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. All right. Final score there on qualifier two. Looks like it was. 32 blue to 11 red. Congratulations, blue team. Are you guys going to drive one of the ghost bots? You going to drive one of the ghost bots? I don't know whatever the next one is that goes up. Unless All Saints is All Saints might be doing it cuz I think Elliot is getting it working. Elliot, did you get it working? No. I uploaded our drive code with the right port and it's you know It didn't work. This is one of the ghost spots. Nope. For some reason, your your bra moment isn't working. All right, I'm going to try to do it. Huh? Can we make song requests? No, because it's all uh, copyright free soft song. Because it's on YouTube streaming live. Just like on
I don't know. Nine and three. I'm I'm really busy. I'm trying to get an All Saints spot working. This is fourteen and fifteen. USB cable, USB cable, can I use it? Thanks. So guys, one of the rules we have, and I haven't told anybody yet, is teams have to stay on corners. Oh yeah, yeah I got you. So one of the rules we have, guys, that I haven't told you yet, teams have to stay on corners. Huh? Like you have to be around the corner of the field. So you have maximum distance from the other team. That's one of them, yeah. Uh, it's the ghost team, I think. Um, no. Blue. This is blue. Hayden. Hayden. You're blue. You're blue. And D is over there. Lexi, so I'm putting I'm putting a program on this. Do I have to do anything to get it to work as a competition program? Because uh. I've got a basic drive program on it right now. Okay, Vexcode Project is the one. Okay. Competition is the one we want, right? Okay, let me see. Do I need to reset it? It plays how you drive it. Oh. Okay. So. Should 
should be that one. So it must not be on there. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to make it a competition drive program. I think part of it is you guys don't use Xcode. Well, I just did it all over again right here because oh. oh, we they weren't getting going, any. Though, yeah, I know, I know. We have to I'll, I'll do that now. Yep. Pop. Ready? Okay, on the red side, we've got Mantis and Scorpion, two insect or arthropodic creatures um, from John Bapst. And over on the blue side, we've got two pusher bots. We have Cyber Saints, right? 21421S. And we've got the B team from John Baps, the, the pusher bot with the, looks sort of like a scarab beetle. Um, so I just want to remind teams, you should be on the corner of the field. So circling the corner of your field to keep maximum social distance still. So you can move in and get around the corner of the field. So Kwa, you can get in closer to the field, but just at the corner. Good, perfect. All right. So red team, are you ready? Oh, it's like we have a battery, battery change out. While we're waiting for that, blue team, are you ready? Awesome. Quick change on the battery. Samantha Ismail, Captain Extraordinaire, swapping out the batteries. There she goes. Are we ready, red team? Red team, are we ready? All right, in three. Two, one, go. All right, there's the Cyber Saint running some, a little bit of autonomous. Uh, looks like D-Team has crossed the line. I think it's the autonomous is going to go to blue. Yes, it goes to blue. Now all blue has to do is empty the goals. All right, in three, two, one, go. All right, there we go. The, uh, the Scarab Beetle robot is um, pushing people around quite a bit. Looks like uh, Mantis is getting upended by the Scarab. Okay. Having a hard time controlling things with that Scarab Beetle running around the field. Over here, we've got Scorpion scoring in the, in the corner goal, building up their red repertoire. They've got a row. They've got two rows. They've got three rows. Red is working on their rows. Looks like they're going for another score in the side goal. Here we go with Cyber Saints trying to knock red balls out of the goals with their pusher bot. We've still got a red row on the left-hand side and the blue home row. Scorpion trying, oh, Scorpion looks like it was caught in the, in the side goal there for a moment. We've got two red rows, three red rows. Looks like they might be able to pull off a victory here, even with the loss of autonomous. 30 seconds remaining. The Scarab Beetle is trying hard as it might to get those balls out of the, out of the goals. As is the Cyber Saint, looks like they just about did it. 15 seconds left. That Scarab Beetle's going crazy, trying to get some of these red balls de-scored so that they can uh, prevent a loss. Looks like they've got... It looks like there's, there's no red rose left on the field. They've managed to pull it off, maybe. It looks like they did. All right, we'll get the official word from the referee in a moment. <laughs> this, uh, this strategy of winning autonomous and de-scoring or preventing the other team from getting any rows has actually been quite successful on the national stage, and I think it may have worked out here in the favor of these smaller, lower push spots.
Blue Alliance takes it five to nine. Congratulations, Blue. Yeah, that works. Okay, I've got to figure out how to get this program in competition mode here. <laughs> okay. Man. I was hoping Elliot would step up and do this, but no, he is not. So it doesn't have a valid program on it? What's well, it doesn't, it doesn't have match code on it, but I don't know how to make it match code. Competition template. You know what? I don't want to wait for that. It's a, it's a sample. Just about getting closer, it looks like. You're Casey, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. He I talks a lot match. about you. Huh? I am see this match. Dave. Abstain? Oh. I am see this match. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep, they're, uh, nice to meet you, officially. Is there a microphone? Huh? Do I use the headset or is there a microphone? It's all good. Do I use the headset or is there a microphone? I'm emceeing. Why, why are you on that side? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm emceeing, you know, you're, you're fine. Yes. Yep. Murphy, how do I turn this on? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hello. Murphy, is there some button I press? Is there some button I press? Oh, it automatically will. All right. What are our teams here? Two one four two one e.
No, it's you're connected to this right now. So once as soon as the driver starts, you'll be able to drive. All right. What is? Yeah, I no, I have the headset. I'm waiting to be connected. I'm not sure. Wait, do I use an actual microphone or is this? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Is this qual match four? What? There's a robot on the field. D? Oh, bye, Shannon. <laughs> Just try. <laughs> oh, man. They can clutch up. No. <laughs> no. Well, it'd be really funny if it did, because I'm gonna I'm gonna be the first pick anyways, because both him and him and Tony want to pick me. So, yeah. But the, if I was if I was with Elliot, I could for sure just one v two. Like I just pin one bot, and Elliot could just score an easily one. What? You have to pair with that. You have to pair to that robot. Uh, to plug just to the yeah, plug plug. I'm plug a motor. No, it's a. All right. Sorry for the sorry for the disruption, everyone. We'll get started in just a minute here. <laughs> just throwing tomatoes at you. All right. We're gonna introduce the teams real quick. On the Blue Alliance, here we have Team Two One Four Two One E, Team Phoenix from All Saints, and we have some team over here, Two One Four Two E, Flat Earth Society from John Baps. And from Cape Elizabeth on the Red Alliance, we have Team 56J, the Long Earth Society. And Team 56G, we got the Cape Elizabeth Alliance on the Red, on the, uh, Red Alliance. <laughs> hmm. My coaching has not been effective. Oh my god, you guys are... We all good? Okay. Let me. My face win. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, here you go. So okay, no, you, drive works, but the actual program doesn't. So the actual program doesn't work. Murphy, it still doesn't work. If you unplug the, if you unplug this, can you drive? No, she can't. Wait, oh, so oh. She can unplug it and drive. We can just do that. Yeah, use the bug. This thing is not fun. Murphy, we're going to use the bug. Go get it. Where is it? Okay, yeah, use that. Murphy's trying to push the bot that just doesn't work. So, like. Yeah, but. <laughs> he doesn't want to see your robot in every other mat. I do. <laughs> Oh my god, this is horrendous. Alright, for the third time this match, we have our fourth robot here. <laughs> yep, alright, pair. <laughs> They're just gonna get it paired up again. Plug it in, uh, um, plug it into that, and then uh, plug it back in. <laughs> Wait, Elliot, does that deploy work? <laughs> All right. All right. All our teams are set up and ready to go. All right. Blue Alliance, are you ready? Red Alliance, are you ready? All right. Autonomous in three, two, one, go.
All right, 2142E and 56J are off to a hot start in Autonomous. Meanwhile, 56G and uh, 21421E seem to be taking their sweet time. All right, Red. All right, Red's going to take that autonomous bonus. Driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, all robots are off to a fast-paced start with Team 56G playing heavy defense on 2142E to start off. Team 21421E is going at it, descoring goals left and right. 56J now playing defense on 2142E, who is trying to score as many goals as possible in this minute 45 seconds. All right, Team 56G is now playing offense, scoring goals in the towers. Well, scoring the wrong goal in the scoring the wrong ball in the towers, but it's a score nonetheless. 56J and 2142E going at it. Pretty evenly matched right now. With 56J taking a slight advantage at the moment. All right. 21421E is descoring their own color, which is an interesting strategy. 2142E is changing out those balls left and right. Not to be outmatched by 56J, who is hot behind them. All right, as we come into our final 20 seconds, this match could go either way. Oh, 56J with that rough middle tower defense, preventing 2142E from scoring in the middle tower. Oh, but 56J looks like they are stuck on the tower. This may give 2142E time to sneak in. Five, three, two, one. All right, that's the match. Time to get these scores up. Oh, can't see what. Oh, <laughs> oh oops. <laughs> I'm seeing is so fun, but. All right, this match may come down to 56J getting stuck on the middle goal like a bunch of casuals at the end of that match. <laughs> I know you guys aren't fighting about entanglement at this meet. <laughs> yep. All right. All right. So it looks like we have a final score of Red Alliance 11, Blue Alliance 20. Wah, wah. <laughs> All right, we're going to do field setup and get ready for match five. What?
This is 56G. Blue. Oh, wait. Did they just switch? It was the old call. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was the, that was the last call. Yeah, he could practice with it a bit. You might want to charge that up some if you can. I've got a I've got a paper cutter if you want to cut it. It's up to you. I have gaff tape too. Oh, we could just use tape. That'll work. Are we losing things through it? Huh? They broke their tape on it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, I meant to get that fixed before today. It looks Link. Oh, it's this one? I think there's something up with your radio. It's not either that or a port, but I know. Come on. Five. Five seconds? You can pin for five, yeah. But then you have to back off for five seconds. Just needed to be rebooted. You have to wait. You can't keep on the same robot for ten seconds. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Boom. You just do this. It's tank drive. Yep. And there's no autonomous. No autonomous. Wait, is it? Let me see. Something doesn't sound right. Really? 
It's set to two. It's backwards. Let's try this. Well, no, this is, it's the program. Um, It's worse, it's different. It only goes forward. Yeah, it, you can turn just by doing one side or the other. But it only goes forward right now until the program gets fixed. Um, I don't think you're up next, but you might be. No, you're not up. You're not up yet. All right. All right, coming on the field, on the red side, we have 2142H Mantis. Go to your corner, Mantis. Mantis, if you go to your corner. 2142E over here, Flat Earth Society. And over on the blue side, we have 2142D Scorpion from John Baps. And 21421E, Team Phoenix from All Saints down the street. If you can go down to your corner a little bit, back up a little bit. Good, perfect. <clears throat> We're waiting for the captain of the Flat Earth Society coming up with a controller here. Blue team, are you ready to go? Red team, are you ready? Doesn't look quite like you're ready. All right. Autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, we have some movement on the blue side and on the red side. Looks like we've got that signature triple score by Flat Earth. They're going for nothing after that. Looks like Scorpion is doing a little bit with two seconds to go. And that's the end of Autonomous goes to red. All right. Driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, Mantis, Mantis and Flat Earth are making movements on their side. Blue going, going for a score right in the center, but it's being taken away by uh, Mantis. Now Blue's going over to, to Red's corner. Um, Flat Earth is uh, making quick work of those goals. They've already got a row in the back to add to their autonomous score. <coughs> Little piece of information here, Elliot Collins, the driver on Flat Earth, is actually new. He's never driven this robot before in competition. But he's, he's learning the ropes pretty well here. Mantis is going at breakneck speed here and scoring. Um, look, looks like they're taking, doing a pretty good job of de-scoring goals and putting go balls back in. Um, Flat Earth is, is uh, cycling... Cycling goals there. They've now got a row on the, the bottom part of the field. Defending their territory. Mantis just dropped a red ball in the center. 
And Scorpion is descoring as they go. They've got to get some action down here on the bottom of the field, though, I think, before time runs out in 25 seconds. There's a whole row they've got to descore. And that's easily done, just dropping a ball right on top. And they've got the, they've broken that row. Nine seconds remaining. There they go. They broke that row. And if they can get one ball in that far corner in two seconds. Oh no, Red took it back. They've got the home row, the bottom row again. All right, we'll see what the ref says, but I think uh, this one's going to Red. What is it? No, just I'll just say it. All right, red takes it 16 to 3. All right, clear up your robots, field resetters, get that field reset, and we can go to the next match. Teams in queue, get ready to get on the field. Couple of things. Yeah. Alice texted me that my head keeps getting in the way, so I'll duck down. Okay. And also, if you stand in front while you're. I can't see, they can't see, yeah. Okay. Brace it? Yeah. What do you mean by brace it? Raise it? Really yeah, just unscrew, just unscrew the, um, right here. This one? Yeah. yeah, just unscrew. All you have to do is um, loosen these up. It's just to screw through here and here. And then pull it up a little bit. Yep. There you go. That'll work. You guys realize you're in first place, right? Okay. You guys better step it up. They're in first place. I know. You can jack the front up and then tighten it. It'll it'll be high enough. I did bring the front up. Yeah. It's like still it's the back half of it that's still really far down. So it's whatever, I guess. Yeah. It's what it is, right? Everybody's got the same challenge. Would you be able to drive it if you do it like 
um, turning and driving forward and backwards. So this turns you left or right, and that drives you forward and backwards. Does that work? I need to reprogram it, but I'll be right back. Wait, what happened to Jay? I am Jay. What happened to E? We have e. That's our, Elliot. Our bus overheated. Oh well, put it on the field, man. Yeah, just one sec. Almost. I just had a realization. I had it wired wrong. OK, got it now. Yeah, they, they're not up, are they? G? OK. I will announce, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll announce in a second. Give it like one minute? Yeah. Okay. I think it's set. I had the ports wrong. It just needs a new battery, and it should be good to go. like we have uh, on the blue side 56J and uh, standing in for 2142E we have the scarab beetle again. Um, on the red side we have 2142E from All Saints, the Team Phoenix, up against 2142H, Mantis from John Bast. Red team, you ready? Blue team, you ready? Beginning autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, looks like 56J is doing its signature move here. Got its corner ball going for its middle ball. Now it's going for the other corner. See if it can get a row. Not quite. Looks like it didn't quite get the row. But autonomous goes to blue. All right. Driver control in three, two, one, go. 
All right, the Scarab is busy scaring up some balls out of the goals here. Uh, Mantis is pulling out balls as well. It's like they're descoring the bottom balls on all the goals on this side, the blue side. 56J is cycling goals here, just dropped a three stack in the middle bottom. And here we go, they're going for the corner, taking the red out maybe, dropping in two blues. Nope, they're going to leave the red in. No, they're going to get the red out. There we go. And over on the other side, we've got uh, the Scarab Beetle there going after whatever it can. I'm not sure exactly what its strategy is here. But 56J is now scoring blue balls over on the other side, getting a row in place. So now they've got one full row on that side. They're going for, looks like they might be going for a sweep of the towers if they can manage it. They've got a triple stack on the back end of the field now. Going for another row, looks like two rows. If they can get this, 30 seconds remaining. They dropped a blue ball and they've got three rows, not two rows now, three rows. But Saints is coming along and taking them out, strategically knocking out balls, keep them from getting any more rows. They just dropped a red ball in the middle side, but the Scarab comes in, trying to do its dirty work there. Five, four, three, two, oh, it's not going to be close, I'm afraid. Three blue rows, it looks like. Four blue rows on this match. That was a tough one, folks. We'll see what the ref says. All right, looks like we have a score of 28 to 1. Blue takes that one. All right, clear the field and get your neck, get the balls set up for the next match. Yeah, you've got four rows, so it's actually 34. One, two. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You want to cue the next one? All right, we're looking for 21421S on red and 56G on red. Up against on blue, we've got 2142B and 2142D. This is going to be the battle of the top loaders against the battle of the bottom loaders. Go ahead and bring your robots to the field and get ready for a heated battle. Huh? B and D. Oh, yeah, you're Scorpion and I Flat can, Earth against against uh, the X bot and can, and that uh, one. This one overheat, I can run the E-bot. Okay. No, you gotta you gotta use gotta use your bot. If it's overheating, it's overheating. Yeah, you're B. Yeah, that's right. Actually it looks like we've got three bottom feeders and one top feeder on this match. Time is it? Gosh, it's already 11. So what match is this? We're halfway through? Okay, yeah, we gotta pick up the pace. Noon, yeah. All right, we're gonna pick the pace up. Huh? Yeah. Huh? That one's ready now. <laughs> it, is 
It is, but... Uh, no, that panel disappeared years ago in, on our practice field, so, yeah. What I really need to do is just take two pieces of polycarb and glue them together and put it back, but, yeah. Yeah, to cut it. Through. I just used the paper cutter. <laughs> Chunk done. Although with the Glowforge, you can actually draw on it, on the plexi, and just have it cut on the line. Yeah. So if you know what, if you yeah, if you know what shape you want, you just draw that, and it'll cut. No. Awesome. Well, this is a great time to do it. Uh, nope. It's two, 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 and then three, three, and zero. You are. What? Where are they? Yeah, they should be over here. Um, okay, I'll tell them. Be right back. Hey guys, you should actually be over there for social distancing reasons. Yeah, over with the BAPS teams on the side. Okay guys, go to your corners. Huh? If it, w it should be able to turn. It's drive forward and back, I think. It should, well, maybe not. It might be that way and that way or it's tank drive, one or the other. When the game starts, it'll start. It's okay, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> All right, I think we're ready to get going here. It looks like it's John Baps against All Saints. Field set, blue team, are you ready? Red team, are you ready? All right, starting autonomous in three, two, one, go. Okay, we've got some autonomous work going on there. Looks like we've dropped a blue ball in the top here. And they're running over the scarab now. Okay. And it looks like blue got the autonomous on that for the one score that they got in the corner. Driver control in three, two, one, go. All right. The X-Bot is on the field. Looks like the scarab is... Scoring. Whoa. <laughs> that was a tough one. All right. Um, okay, blue blue team, take it easy on the red team, eh? <laughs> All right. This is a mean robot on the field. There we go. Now they're active again. All right, it's like uh, the X-Bot, oh, disconnected. Maybe they'll get back on. I think they, they lost connection from one of those rams being done. The Cyber Saints are uh, trying to defend against this horrible scarab that's running around the field. It's like they, the Cyber Saints bot is now a little mangled.
from all, they might get, the, the uh, Scarab bot might get DQ'd for that since they uh, damaged the other robot in a significant way. And that's the end of the match. Okay, we'll wait to hear from the uh, ref what the results are. Well, he damaged. He disabled one robot and damaged the other one. No, that's actually illegal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, was it not? Shoot. You just have to click this transition button, and I keep forgetting to do it. I'm doing too many things here. Yeah. This is the one that's displaying. This is cute. Maybe, maybe I need a new radio. We'll figure it out. Maybe. Looks like the ref is talking to the Scarab team. And the score is Team 2142B was disqualified in that match for their excessive and egregious attacks of the red team. Um, but Blue won. 2142D won by a good bit. It looks like. Uh, 37 to 6 as a final score. So one win goes to D, and is it is it a loss for them, or do they win? Yeah, yeah. So they the red team also gets win points for that match. The B team gets nada. Uh, sir, <laughs> All right. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Clear clear the field and get it reset for the next. Yeah. Yeah. A, a tournament is not a tournament without a little bit of controversy. God, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> okay. You'll get kicked out of the tournament. <laughs> We've got an extra robot we can throw in there somewhere. <laughs> you guys going to be able to fix that? Uh, we're trying. Yep. you got to get more. You put a second screw in here and here and you've got it. Well, they're fixing their robot, making it a little more sturdy. Aiden got DQ'd for bending their robot <laughs> by ramming it.
it never got done. Yeah. All right. Looks like we need uh, blue team 21421S and 56J on the field. Red team 21422D and 21421E. Red on the field. I think 21421E is still, or S is still uh, recovering from the last match. Uh, but I trust they'll be here in short order. New after the 20th. We're going right through all the calls and then we're going to do one. We're trying to get through these quicker. I know, that's, I'm speeding it up now. Well, stop destroying all the robots. <laughs> if they end up there, it's up to you guys. All right, we need our teams on the field so we can run the next match. We're running behind. We should be able to get caught up with uh, four minute rounds if, we, if possible. But teams have to be ready to go. All right, we need team 21421S and team 2142D on the field. Well, it was, it was on four single screws, so now they're doing an extra screw. They're, they're doing an extra screw, yeah. All right, we're waiting for 2142D. Queuing on red. And 2142S queuing on blue. All right, S is on the field. We're just waiting for Scorpion to get over here so they can start the match. You have 30 seconds to be on the field, Scorpion. Twenty seconds. All right, blue team, are you ready? Blue team. Red team, are you ready? All right, teams to your corners. Autonomous starts in three, two, one, go! 
All right, all four robots are doing their autonomous moves. This is the first time this tournament when we've seen that. It looks like uh, they're having a little bit of trouble executing those moves, but we do have a blue score, it looks like. Blue wins autonomous. Driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, we've got uh, Cyber Saints against Team Phoenix. And we've got Scorpion against Long Earth. This is going to be an interesting match. We've got two offensive robots and two defensive robots taking the field. And we'll see how this turns out. This is going to be an interesting battle. It looks like Blue is uh, going for a row on the, on the bottom of the field. They've got it. And it looks like... Uh, The Saints bots are, are doing their best to keep uh, balls out of the goals if they can. And they're doing pretty good at it. They just emptied the, the red home row corner ball, corner goal, just like that. And now they're going for, uh, looks like they're going to score in the center with a red ball maybe. Team D is scoring in the side goal now with their red. Oh, and it fell out, but they got one the bottom. That counts. Oh, and now Blue just took it out with, uh, and now it goes back. This is like a game of ping pong. Looks like Cape G just, J just uh, scored on, scored for red. Now they fixed it. And we've got a row of blue on the home row for blue. And... Looks like a tie down in the home for the, the bottom middle goal here. We got six seconds left. And there is a row in the top of the field. It looks like it's going to blue. They've got three, four, five rows, or four rows scored on the field. We'll see what the score comes out as, but it looks like this belongs to blue, especially with the autonomous win. All right, the score is in. Three to 52, Blue takes that one with a commanding victory. Well done, you guys can get your robots off the fields. Reset, and our next match is between, please get your robots to the field, 56G, the X-Bot, 2142H is Blue as well. Mantis, come on over, Mantis. You're up. 2142H, you're on the field. 2142B and 2142E on the field on red. What are we at? 1126 something? Okay. Which match is this? 10? Okay. Again, calling the X-Bot and Mantis for the blue. We're looking for the Scarab and the Flat Earth on red. No, 56G's coming. The, they've got the push bot. That they're doing, yeah. Okay, all robots to the field. We'll be starting in 45 seconds. Uh, blue, yeah, blue. This side. 2142E and 2142B to the field, please. Hmm? 
I think you just do this. Well, I mean, you can't do that until you gotta plug in um, the blue one. If you wanna stop it. Yeah, and I think you can hit a, yeah, and yeah, actually, do that when the game starts, I think. Yeah. All right, blue team, are you ready? Nope. You guys are blue. You're 56G. Yep. All right, red team, not ready. Is this possible? Okay, that's good. All right. You guys want to move towards the corner? Yeah. Just has to be behind the white line. All right. Red team, are you ready? Referee, are you ready? Okay, autonomous begins in three, two, one, go! Oh boy, that's close. It looks like they managed to not get over the line there, but Red just scored a triple score in the, in the goal on the side. Looks like they're going for the center score. Nope, didn't get it. Managed to de-score one of their own points, but... All right, Red, go, Red gets autonomous. So we begin driver in three, two, one, go! All right, so uh, Flat Earth is trying to do something here. Um, does it drive it? Yeah, there you go. Go backwards. Go backwards. Sideways, forwards. Oh, those are where? Huh. Well, try to control it that way. We'll try to reprogram it after this match. All right, looks like the scarab is, is uh, messing with the mantis over there. I guess we can't really call it a scarab anymore. It's lost its pinchers on the front. Um, looks like they're stuck together. The Scarab may be going for another DQ on this match. We'll see. All right. Looks like Mantis is going for a corner de-scoring. De uh, So they took out a red ball there in that corner. <laughs> All right, Mantis is going for their corner, the corner down here in the bottom, but the the uh, 2142B is still giving him trouble. Looks like uh, the flat earth robot's trying to score in the center, but can't seem to quite uh, make it work. And Mantis is going for a score in the middle. See if they can get that ball. In. Oh. All right, so we have a full ring around the rosy of red. Um, Looks like they got four rows and the autonomous. So this, this match is definitely going to red. There's little question of that. Just waiting for the official score. What? What? I'm not telling them the score. No, we're waiting for the referee here. 
yeah. As soon as I can, I might. What do we have here? It's like 39 to 8. Red takes that one. All right, go ahead and clear your robots. Get ready for the next match. It's like we're looking for 21421E on blue, 2142H on blue. 24, 21, uh, 21421S on red and 56G, 56G, get back to the field on red. Ghostbot, we need you back on the field. That was cleaner, that was better. Thank you. All right, Mantis and Team 21421E on blue. On red, we have 21421S and 56G. That's you. That's you, so, I mean, yeah, just give it a shot. I mean, kind of stop this. Okay. Uh, Charles, 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 you guys left the controller. All right, looks like we're ready to go. Blue team, are you ready? Red team, are you ready? Okay, teams to your corners. Blue team, get to your corners, blue team. All right, referee, are you ready? Almost ready. We're going too fast for the referee now. That's a good thing. All right. Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. Okay, we've got a little movement. The two Saint spots doing their autonomous. Oh, and Mantis. Oh, they've got a ball rolling down the field. Looks like it stopped on the side. This one. Red Alliance wins the match, Red wins the autonomous because blue is touching one of their own balls in the goal, which makes it not count. Okay, driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. We, this, is a, this is a battle of push bots, with the exception of the one semi-hydrid push bot over there from Mantis. They're feeding balls out of the corners. We're gonna see who is the most effective push bot here. Looks like Mantis is clearing some goals. They've got almost a row of blue on the top of the field. Oh, we have a little tangle there between S and H. And 21421E is clearing the goal over here on the side of red balls. They'll probably put a blue ball in next, we'll see. Yep. Going for the blue score. This, this match may come down to, uh, to an autonomous win. If blue can't get a row, red is gonna win this match. They've got 40 seconds left. Blue has to get a row of balls to, win, to be, have a chance to win this match. Okay, <laughs> we've got Looks like there's a red ball in the center. They're lined, they can line themselves up for a, a diagonal score right there if they can manage to get a ball in the far corner. Oh, looks like uh, 2142-1E is trying to push out that red ball from the center. Nine seconds left. If they can get a ball in the middle, they've got a shot. 
Three seconds. All right, good game, guys. Well played. All right, it was a close one. Red edged him out eight to four. Congratulations, Red. Okay, clear your robots, get the field reset. We've got match number 12 coming up. Looking for team 56J on the red and 2142D Scorpion on the red. And on the blue side, we've got 2142E and 2142B on the red side, on the blue side. Please bring your robots to the field. This is rapid play. Uh, no, nope, you're not up yet. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a quick shot. Somebody took the programming cable. Let's see. Um, yeah, you want to grab one? That'll. Yeah, I just need the. Yeah, it shouldn't be using those at all. I don't know why it is. It's it's not set up that way. So. I just need a programming cable. Now well, we'll do. We'll make it work. It's one that I built with some students. Did you build one? We built five of these. Uh, did you hear the Ian's song on the website? Whose song? Ian, your brother. No, I didn't. Have you checked the website or not? I haven't checked it for a while. I'll have to, I thought it was on YouTube. Have to see that. Why is this not connecting? Let me reset it. Well, whatever your whatever your coach says is fine. Let me reset it. I'll call it X-Bot. Do you guys have a different cable? Here, this is not, for some reason it's not working. Okay. Actually, you know what? No, it, I don't. Okay. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Waiting on the last All Saints team. 
the other Saints team needs to get over to the field. I think. Um, well, that's um, that's the B team. Yeah, no, that's B. G is this one. Not this second. I've got to run a match. All right, we ready? All right, looks like everybody's at the field. On the red team again, we have Scorpion and Long Earth making a couple minor adjustments. This is going to be quite a matchup. There's a lot of technology in these four robots. Um, and on the, B, on the blue side, we have 2142B, the scarab that has lost its horns, and 2142E, flat earth. OK, we're just waiting for some minor adjustments on the long earth robot. And then we'll be ready to go. Blue team, are you ready? Red team, are you ready? All right. Referees ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, looks like uh, Blue is doing a triple, uh, double score in the corner. All right. Blue? All right. There's a red one in that one. Okay. All right. Uh, looks like the went to blue. Three, two, one, go. All right. Let's see. This is going to have a little bit of fast action here. So we've got we've got driving on the flat Earth robot Hayden O'Connell, who is the normal driver for that robot. You can see he's uh, quite practiced as he makes quick work of the field. The 56J is. Similar robot uh, going at it over there in the side. It looks like uh, Elliot Collins, driver of the Scarab, the dehorned Scarab, is uh, trying to make Long Earth have a difficult time of it. Looks like uh, Flat Earth is going to their corner. They're going to do a quick cycle of uh, all but one of the balls. And at the same time, they're going to feed in the balls in the center, bo center goal here. So they're making quick work of these goals. They're, they're just dropping balls in left and right. Although at 56J is giving them some competition here, undoing their work as he goes. 30 seconds remaining. like uh, fighting over the uh, side goal here. A little bit of pinning going on. Flat Earth gets away right quick. 11 seconds left. <coughs> oh, this is going to be an interesting one. We have a red row on this side. This is going to be a close match. It looks like there's one red row scored, no blue rows scored. This is going to come down to who has more balls in the goals. To see what the ref pulls up for a score.
no. Red, red one, blue one autonomous. Yeah. That, that blue ball doesn't count. Yeah, because it's estimate. So yeah, okay. All right, we have the score. I have a drum roll, please. 13 to 14, blue wins that one by a hair. That was a really tough match. The next one, 13, okay. All right, go ahead and clear the robots, reset the field. Next match, we have 21421E and 2142E on red. On blue, we have 2142-1S and 2142B on blue. Please bring your robots to the field. 2142B and E, you're up again right now. Both of you. So B is on blue and E is on red. All right, looks like we have our four robots at the field. Okay, blue team getting their robot on the field. Red team, you ready? Red team, are you ready? Blue team, are you ready? Referee, are you ready? Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. Oh dear, it looks like we have a blue incursion on the red side. Red gets the autonomous. You can let it run down. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Driver control in three, two, one, go. Okay, here we go. It's three push bots, bottom scorers against one top scorer that seems to be having trouble scoring at all. This may, this may be a very interesting match. Oh, there we go. We have a score in the corner on the top from Flat Earth. While in the meantime, the two Saint spots are going around and uh, de-scoring and scoring. Okay, we have a home row red scored now. We've got two, three rows scored for red throughout the field. Looks like the, uh, the scarab beetle is um, making some interesting noises there as he attacks the goal. Um, in the meantime, Flat Earth is uh, gathering up some balls and going around and scoring in goals. Looks like 2142-1S is trying to <laughs> might be stuck 
on the goal right now while their E companion from All Saints is uh, doing its best to to de-score and score balls on their side. 13 seconds remaining. It looks like we're going to have a red score in that goal if they can manage to feed that ball through in the last two seconds. And they, did, they did it through the bottom. All right, so I think this one looks handily red. I got 18 to 4. I got 18 to 4. Yeah, they only have. They've only got two rows and autonomous. That's eight. Oh, 18 and 6. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 24. All right, we have 24 to 4 red on that one. Good job, red. All right, our next match, we have 56J and 56G, the X-Bot, on the field, on the red side. And on the blue side, we have 2142D and 2142H coming up on blue. Please bring your robots to the field and be ready to go. We have four minutes until lunch. I think we might extend just a little bit into the lunch hour, see if we can get through these last six matches, seven matches. Do you want me to order something? What is it? Is that like a... All right, 
I think we got everybody on the field. Blue side, are you ready? Red teams, are you ready? All right, go to your corners, guys. Autonomous, referee, are you ready? Okay, autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, looks like D and Long Earth, Scorpion and Long Earth are doing their autonomous runs here. And Long Earth has hit the wall. But they did get a couple reds in. Red wins autonomous. Driver control in three, two, one, go. And there we go. Looks like uh, Long Earth is, is making some rows. They've already got two rows of red on the field and we have a spacer out on the field. Somebody lost a spacer. All right. It looks like Scorpion's going for the center goal. Nope, they're gonna eat in the third, in the corner goal here, try to get the balls out. No, they're going back for the center. Looks like they have a ball in the center now. And they're gonna go for the, oh, they couldn't get the top, top ball. Uh, Red has all the goals owned at the moment. Long Earth is making quick work of the, uh, the field. It looks like the X-Bot may be dis disabled, but their team, Fla Long Earth, has, uh, has managed to get them out of that goal. But Scorpion's coming back. They've taken a whole row. They're going for, their, for more balls on their home, on their home row. And Long Earth is undoing their hard work. It looks like they've already undone two of the three goals that they, that they took on their side with 20 seconds remaining. This is gonna be a close one. We'll see, if, we'll see if Mantis can come in and they just took the center goal. We'll see if, oh, they've, looks like they need to get a couple more strategic balls in in the last four seconds. Oh, can they do it? They got it. All right, it looks like Red only ended up with one row on this. At one point in the match, they had all nine owned, and now they've got just one. But I think that might be enough to tip the scales since they won autonomous. Or did blue an autonomous? Oh, red one autonomous. Yeah. Okay, we're just waiting on the final score from the referee. All right, we have it in. It's 20 red to seven blue. Red takes that one. Congratulations, red. I don't know, I'm gonna find out in a sec. All right, match 15 coming up. We have on the red side, 2142B and 2142H, Mantis. And on the blue side, we have 56G, the X-Bot, and 2142-1E from All Saints, Team Phoenix. So it looks like another John Baps versus All Saints matchup here. They're coming. They're, yeah, they're coming. So this match truly, well, all except for Mantis is a pure push bot match. 
Mantis has the capability of carrying balls, which makes them more of a hybrid approach. We need to get Charles Fussell over here to help set up the field, I think, with his super high speed action. You're just so good at it, Charlie. How about, how about offense? How about offense? All right, we're almost ready. The, uh, the angry robot over on the red side uh, <laughs> needs a battery. So they're running off to get that really quickly. Um, I haven't come up with a good name for it now that it lost its horns. It's just angry. We'll see. I'm thinking it's a dung beetle. Dung beetle. That sounds like a good name for it. <laughs> you know, they push balls around and... <laughs> yep. Okay, looks like blue team, are you ready? Red team, I don't care if you're ready. <laughs> Referee, are you ready? All right, match begins in five, four, three, two. <laughs> Hold on a second. There we go. It looks like they have it connected up. Match begins in three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right, Autonomous is running. We got two Autonomous robots. And it doesn't look like anybody changed the score. It is a tie, Autonomous tie. <laughs> All right, Driver begins in three, two, one, go. All right. So this the the angry dung beetle is uh, tooling around. Hopefully he doesn't beat up the world's bot from All Saints over in the corner here. <laughs> Looks like they are tangled up with each other. There we go. Going back to the corner to move the balls out. This is a this is a push bot extravaganza here. Um, the angry dung beetle doesn't look like he can do anything except get angry at other robots. There we go. We just descored a red from the side from the red side. Okay. Now it looks like they're gonna go for a descore and another blue. And Mantis comes over and pulls a blue out of the corner. Mantis is doing a good job doing some descoring there. It looks like the scarab, the old scarab beetle does not have its horn, so it's hard to push balls around. Over in the corner here, we have the X <coughs> stuck on the goal. Mantis can't get in there to, to descore. This match looks like it's going to come down to who has more balls in the goals in the end because it was a tie on Autonomous. Looks like Mantis is dropping a red ball in their goal over there. And they did it. And now uh, they're getting the signal. Put a red ball in the middle. <laughs> and it looks like Blue may have taken this with a diagonal row. All Saints may have unseated John Baps today.
That would be quite a victory. Blue may have pulled out the victory there with the X-Bot and the Team Phoenix. Just waiting on the official score here. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we have 14 to 9. Blue takes it. Well done, Blue. <laughs> I know, I could hear you. She what? Oh, I'll eat it. Here, let me just do that. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, Hayden. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to destroy them. <laughs> That's right. All right, match 16 is coming up. On the red side, we're looking for 2142D, Scorpion, and 2142-1S, Cyber Saints. And on the blue side, we're looking for 2142E, the first rank seed, and 56J, the fourth rank seed. This is going to be an interesting matchup. It's two, two top scoring robots against a top scoring and a bottom scoring robot. We'll see how this one turns out. Please bring your robot to the field. 21421S, second ranked team today. Cyber Saints. All right, blue team. You ready, blue team? Red team, are you ready? Looks like they have a bad controller on the E team. 2142E team. All right, looks like everyone's ready to go. Ref is ready. Autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, we've got a 56J score in the corner. We've got a flat earth score in the, oh, they just got a home row. That's an extra win point. And it looks like Blue takes the autonomous on that one handily. All right. <coughs> 
Driver control in three, two, one, go. Okay. Looks like there's a little pinning going on in the corner there, in the side there. While Long Earth Society starts making quick work of the goals around the corner, we'll see. There we go with uh, Flat Earth taking the corner goal and Long Earth taking the far goal. They've almost ringed the field. Okay. Looks like we have uh, a blue onslaught here. It's like Flat Earth's going for the side goal again. And Long Earth, these two robots look like they came from the same parents. They look extremely similar to each other. All right, so the Scorpion is, is starting to make some advances here in the match. 30 seconds remaining. It's like blue is cycling. A little bit of defense being played. Blue's got three rows currently with 14 seconds remaining. Five seconds left. Oh, and, and Scorpion managed to drop a ball. <laughs> All right, that was a high octane match. A lot going on there. Looks like Blue may have taken three rows in that match. I think you guys are touching that ball over there. I think so. Well, yeah, they are. Oh, okay. Blue one is on there. All right. There's a 35 to 6 win, blue over red, with a home row autonomous, a uh, home row win point as well to throw in the to throw in the mix there. Good job, blue. All right, our next match, 17. We're looking for 56J and 2142B on the blue side. And on the red side, we're looking for 2142H and 2142-1S on the red side. 2142-1S, come on over for red. Mantis is on its way. And 56J is on the field, and we're looking for 2142B. Let's get this match on the road. Everyone wants lunch, and we got four matches to go. I think we can do it. <coughs> it's just whatever, yeah. But it's lunch and skills next. Hayden, wrong one. That's the short one. Oh, you're here, okay. This is working out okay. <laughs> this is working out okay. We don't have the big, yeah. It is. <laughs> yep. Like, his search was quicker, but there's a lot more by 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Hayden sacrificed sturdiness for did, yeah. speed. Yeah. You have it? All right, red team, are you ready? Blue team. Blue team, are you ready? Referee Billy B, are you ready? All right. Match starts in three, two, one, go. All right, we've got Cape J scoring in the corner. Going for the middle. Will they get the final? Oh, and they just missed the, the home row score again. Looks like Blue took autonomous, though. If you want to put that ball back in the field, you can. No, right on the edge. The, uh, miniature golf rules. All right. Driving control in three, two, one, go. All right, 56 J's making some tracks, getting some more blue balls. The uh, angry dung beetle looks like it's disabled and stuck in the corner. He lost, con oh, maybe he unplugged his radio or something. I don't know. 21421S is uh, working out in the corner there, perhaps scoring some balls. All right, looks like the, the hand of God has reached down maybe and revived the dung beetle, I'm not sure. Not technically legal in a, an official VEX tournament, but as this is a scrimmage, I think we can allow it. Okay, is it not working? Oh yeah, you can drive it. He can drive it, yeah. It's not an official tournament, I think we're good to go. Just be nice to the other robots. All right. So, <laughs> no, be nice to the robots. <laughs> All right. So we have, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you damaged the other robot too. Look at that bent intake. <clears throat> All right, looks like Long Earth is doing some scoring here and the Cyber Saints are doing their best to keep up with them. <laughs> Looks like we've got blue, though, in every tower. Um, the Mantis looks like it's definitely wounded. They did manage to de-score the center goal, which kept it from being a complete blowout, but it looks like all blue towers except one now. But that knocks out four rows. Yeah, you bent the intake, Hayden. All right, looks like there's a blue win, 39 to four. <laughs> Go ahead and clear the field, guys. Cue for match 18. Oh. Yeah, just give me the thing. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's 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 fine, Shannon. Just
so much depends on s schedule. No problem. Well, it depends on how many people want to do skills. I mean, I just want to give them a chance to do skills and then, I mean, I set two hours for that and an hour for finals. I, I don't think it's, yeah, it's not gonna, yeah, it's not gonna be an hour, no. So I think we have plenty of time to, yeah. I built in a lot of FUD time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, I think Xbot, we're just waiting for Xbot to, to pop onto the field there. Okay, Xbot's just doing a little bit of work there in the corner. This is going to be an interesting match. We have Flat Earth and Xbot up against Scorpion and Team Phoenix, state champs of the middle school for this year. All right. Okay. Red team, are you ready? Blue team, referee, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Looks like we cycle the two there. May have been enough to take red. Red took autonomous. All right, driver control in three, two, one, go. Oh, look at that little X-Bot go. It's got some speed on it for sure. Team Phoenix is trying to score in the middle. Charlie Fussell, the backup backup driver for Flat Earth is driving the Flat Earth robot this time. I don't know how much experience he has with the, with the robot, but we'll see how it goes. And he's being coached by his captain, Elliot. Scorpion's being driven by Justin, who is the builder on that team. Everybody's getting a little bit of uh, wheel time there. And over here on the E-team, we have their well-practiced driver, Tyler, who is very skilled during the, the skills runs at putting balls in goals and taking them out. As you can see here in the, in the bottom middle goal, he's popping those balls right out of there. De-scoring, getting it ready to put a blue ball in perhaps, we'll see. So right now we've got one row of red <laughs> on the field and they have autonomous. Looks like Charlie's going and scoring, uh, going for the score in the middle goal. He got it, so now they, oh, they lost their corner, Red. So Red now has no go no rows. And now they're going over for that corner goal to maybe make it two. Oh, and uh, Phoenix just de-scored another, another tower. We've got four to three seconds left. Looks like red though got one row and an autonomous. That's gonna be enough. We'll see what the official score is though when it comes down from our referee. Yeah, three empties, four empties. All right, Red wins at 18 to three. Go ahead and grab your robots. We've got two more matches to go. Next up on the field, we have 
On blue, we've got XBOT on the blue side, 2142E on the blue side, and on the red side, we have 2142H and 2142-1-S, Cyber Saints. Come on down to the field, folks. Yeah. Well, we'll do skill. skills as part of the calculation, too. Yeah, I'm combining both of them. I'm doing skills and eliminations or qualifi qualifiers. Okay, you're not running skills? That's 63 points if you de-score everything. <laughs> so E, S, J, G, oh, G is in fourth. Hmm. B, G, 56 G. Yeah, the ghost spot's in fourth. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see. I, I announced one thing, so it's hard to go back on that. Last match, they did okay. Okay, we're working through a couple of technical difficulties here. The controller that needs a little power and an intake that seems to be broken. See how it goes. This could be a very interesting match. Okay. All right, red team, are you ready? Hmm? Is it not linked? Turn it off and then on. Now turn it back on again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, run, I think. All right, we're ready to go. Uh, there you go. Autonomous in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Okay, looks like nothing happened. All right, we have a tie in autonomous. 
Driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, we've got a blue scoring beastie over here, flat earth. It looks like the red side is inactive for some reason. Battery died. Yeah, you can go. You can go. I don't know what's going on over here on this side, but. Oh, we have a lost battery on the X-Bot. We've got a little nunchuck there on the side. It's like blue is uh, in a pretty good position. Oh, there we go. The Cyber Saint is alive and well. Do you guys want to switch out your battery? Switch out your battery. Yeah, go for it. Well, you got 40 seconds. All right, 40 seconds left. <laughs> yep. All right. It's, uh, <coughs> we've got 28 seconds left, and there's a hand of God action taking place here. We've got a battery coming in. Oh, and we have lost another battery on the field. <laughs> All right. It looks like uh, 14 seconds left. There's... Um, a lot of battery problems this game, it looks like. <laughs> Five seconds remaining. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> and it looks like Blue has all of the towers between them. That was definitely a calamitous match for Red, I'm afraid. Okay, we'll get the official score in a minute. Yeah. All right, we have a score 59 to 7, blue. All right, we have our final matchup coming up on the field. Go ahead and get your robots off. And if you're not in this last match, go ahead and get your lunch. Um, we're going to be doing skills runs for anybody that wants to try running skills and sort of up their ranking in the qualifiers hmm one more match yeah i don't know it's a um it's like 21 42 1 j d b you're up the dung beetles up um, you're up against you're with 21 42 1 e against 56J and 2142D. <laughs> All right, it looks like we have an epic battle coming up. We've got 56J and 2142D on red. And they're up against 2142B, the angry dung beetle, and 2142-1E from All Saints, Team Phoenix. You're up. Yeah, it's the, it's the world bot team from all things. <laughs> it's the world spot team. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. You might want to just run a driver, just for the heck of it. <laughs> well, let me let me tell you this: the All Saints team that won the rank in Worlds got a 57. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.
All right, we've got match 20, the final qualifier. Doing a little bit of uh, technical difficulty work there on the 2142B robot. This match could do a lot to change the rankings. If blue wins, that shifts the rankings considerably. But that's going to be a tough order against two top scorers, against two pusher bots. Red, are you ready? Blue, are you ready? Red is not quite ready. All right. Red, are you ready? Autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, looks like Cape is working there, Autonomous. They're going for the middle. Oh, and they're off by a little bit. But I think that's enough to get them the Autonomous. Red gets Autonomous. You can put the ball back in. Okay. Driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, we're looking at a little bit more casual, though the, uh, the angry dung beetle's getting really angry. See what he could do to, to stop these robots. He's very fast. Whoa, look at him go. He's pushing that robot around like it's a tumbleweed or something. All right. And Scorpion's doing some work on the side. Um, lift, he's, the dung beetle is lifting Scorpion right off the ground. It's like nobody can take it on two robots at once. Now, if, if Phoenix can, uh, can do its de-scoring work, they might actually have a chance here against these two high-scoring robots. The, uh, the angry dung beetle seems to be doing a good job keeping them busy. 38 seconds remaining. This looks more like an episode of BattleBots than Vex VRC. <laughs> Look at him go. He's just manhandling all of those robots. Lifting them right up off the ground with his uh, pry bars. 16 seconds left. Nine seconds left. <laughs> okay, everybody, lunch and skills. We're going to be doing skills matches skills runs during lunch. We will reconvene at 2 o'clock. So if you want to get a skills run in, go ahead and come on over.
right around three. All right, so we need captains from each team lined up right across here. In order of rank. So in first place, we have Team 2142E right there. Second place, 56J right next to him. Third place, 56G, the Exabot, right next to them. Fourth place, 2142-1S, next in line. Fifth, 2142-B, in fifth place. In sixth place, 2142-1E. In seventh place, 2142-D. Seven, and in eighth place, 2142-H. Go ahead and line up. He's B. Yeah. He's fifth. B is 56G is third. Right. Okay, we are missing. So we got 2142E. 56J, 56G, 2142-1S is next in fourth place. Where is S? Okay. Fifth place, sixth place, seventh place. Who's missing? D. D team, 2142D, Scorpion. Scorpion. You are in seventh place. Line up next to Samantha. Huh? Yeah, I can. Um, how do you do that? Align selection? Okay. Okay. All right, so the way this is working, we're basically picking teams for the semifinals. So. We'll start with Charlie here, and he will ask a team to join him as a partner for the remainder of the tournament, okay? When he asks that person, they can either accept or decline his offer. If they decline his offer, they cannot be another partner for anyone else unless they are a team captain, okay? So think about that in your answers down the line. If you don't think you're going to be a team captain, don't say no, okay? We're going to have four team captains, and that's it. So Charlie, Team 2142E, who do you want to be your partner? All right. Very good. So, everybody after B, move down one. And then we have 56J. So, we're asking Scorpion. Do you accept or decline? You decline, if you decline, you won't be on a team. You don't want to compete at all? You can't compete, yeah. You're too far down the line. Say yes. <laughs> all right. All right, Exobot, come on over and, and pick out your team. Which one, H? So 2142H, do you accept? We accept, all right. And we have our last team right there. It's Saints. You got it. So they pick, yep. Jay picked Scorpion. 
and G picked H. No. And then S picked D. All right. Sounds good. Schedule, maybe? Okay, there we are. All right. Um, do you want to go to the first semifinal match? If you go to schedule and click on that one, yeah. There we go. Okay, so we begin with our first semifinal match up are you checking to see if you can do best of three is it here right yeah it is i think yeah we can just do a couple extra if needed that'll be the okay so we just sort of keep it on the side and then okay all right, so our first matchup, we have um, what is it doing? Semi, here we go. He already had it up over there a minute ago, yeah. Did it? Oh. Yeah, I can't get anywhere on that, huh? No, it's less actually. Phew, there we go. All right, well, that was easy. All right, so on the field, we're doing match one of the semifinals where we have the first seed up against the fourth seed. So 2142E and 2142B, please take the field as the red team. And blue team is 2142-1S and 2142-1E. Take the field. I think we're missing a preload. Oh, there it is. Actually, we're missing two preloads, maybe. That should be blue. There it is.
You guys ready for this? Okay, the first semifinal match is setting up. And again, we have John Baptist versus All Saints. See if they can uh, pull off the same upset set they did the last time. So this is a best of three matchup. So you will play at least, at least two matches. If you lose one, you still have a shot at staying in. You have to win two matches to advance to the finals. All right. Red team, are you ready? Blue team, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Looks like we went over the line. So red gets the autonomous bonus. And driver control in three, two, one, go. We have the uh, angry dung beetle and flat earth running around the field here. And we have the two saint bots descoring which is their strength. The Flat Earth bot is, bot is scoring like a madman. Got all but one tower. And they're going for their ninth. Oh, and they got bumped by the Dung Beetle. Okay, missed the shot there. And, and All Saints is starting to de-score some of the side goals, working together as a team. Doing an excellent job. And there we go. We've got another goal in there for the red. And now they're going, they're waiting for All Saints to get out of the way so they can score. Nope, they're going to go for the center goal. No, they're going for the side goal. And there we go. We have another side goal with 34 seconds remaining. And now we're going for the. <laughs> And it looks like Red owns all of the towers. All Saints better step it up. Oh, they've got one more out of the middle. And 16 seconds remaining. Looks like the S robot is stuck in the side goal. Eight seconds remaining. Five, four. They may be waiting to pull out in the last second. One. <laughs> End of the match. So we're waiting for the ref for the official score. All right, the final score is 63 to 4, red. Okay, reset field. We'll be going to semifinal two group next, so these robots can get a moment to cool off and regroup and re strategize for the next match. Yeah. If they win, we'll, we're done. If they lose, then 
we unscore it and then we just play a third one. Yeah. Yeah, you're really good at messing with your own robot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're up. You're um, red, I believe. Yeah, you're red. So on red, coming up, we have the Long Earth Alliance, 2142D, Scorpion, and 56J, the Alliance Captain. Long Earth from Cape Elizabeth. Up against 56G, the Ghost Bot, Exo Bot, Team Captain. Teamed up with Mantis, 2142H. Come on up for blue. <clears throat> no, I should have just taped it. <laughs> Well, I did it with this. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> this is definitely the kludgiest tournament I've ever seen. But it works. It's too much work. For what, it, for what it, this is, it's too much work. Oh dear. <laughs> Elliot. Elliot, what is in your head?
this this um next season starts on a week from today the new game is being revealed so it has but we're gonna hear the official rules the scoring and i'd love for you as captain to start looking at your team and what how you want to structure it for next season these guys are gone um shannon and emily are left on that team and well it, it, it'll be there but um we gotta we gotta start looking at sort of rebuilding or continuing to build the program the next year so um you're positioned well that way along with tony as captains that'll be here next year from this year that are that are strong so um I can take that out no that wasn't i mean All right. Match begins in three, two, one, go. Here we go with the autonomous. Flat Earth Society triple score in the corner. Going for the middle one. Looks like they're just a little off angle. And that's the end of that round. Red Alliance wins autonomous. Driver in three, two, one, go. All right, so the, the angry dung beetle better be careful of the All Saints World Spot. The S Spot is not the All Saints World Spot. The E Bot is. Okay, so Flat Earth Society is uh, doing what they do. Looks like somebody lost some chain though. There's quite a pile up there on the field. That's the, that's the world spot you're pushing around there, B. All right. Okay, we've got a six tower, seven tower, eight towers in red currently. <laughs> Twenty five seconds. Twelve seconds. <laughs> the end of the match. Okay, we'll wait for the official score. It looks like the All Saints robots survived the angry dung beetle just barely. I think you guys made it okay, huh? 
All right, final score, red 66 to seven blue. All right, go ahead and clear up the field, reset for the second semifinal round of the second third seed. Don't ask donuts. Well, it's wrapped. You don't you don't need to. All right, we're waiting for our other two robots, 56G and 2142D. Scorpion. Scorpion, you're up. Exobot, you're blue on the field. Scorpion, please report to your position on the field. You are red. Oh, good, good maneuver. It looks like the Xbot, the Exobot, has uh, grown an extra appendage that can be used for de-scoring goals or even scoring goals. A nice modification. It looks like it's still in size. <laughs> Did it again? No, it's it's in size anyway. It's a twelve and a half plus, yeah. Yeah, it's seventeen and a half, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seventeen and a half. Perfect. Wait, it's not the right controller. Okay, good. All right, looks like Long Earth is getting prepared. <coughs> Teams, go to your corners. Okay.
Are we ready, Billy? Yes. Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. Okay, we have Cape over there doing their thing. Oh, and the Scorpion has scored. There's a little bit of a spin going on. Don't know what's going to happen. And looks like Red took the Autonomous on that one. Driver control in three, two, one, go. Okay, here we go. We've got two pusher bots against two hooded bots. And it looks like Mantis is doing a good job over there in the corner. Swapping out blue for red. Or swapping out red for blue, rather. Making their rounds. It looks like the Exobot is stuck or disabled in the corner. I'm not sure what happened. Mantis is clearing out the uh, center goal. Dropping in, you know, undoing some of the work that 56J did earlier in the match. There they go, it's empty now. 47 seconds left. They're just emptying out the goals as they go. Looks like 56J just took the center goal again. And that corner goal is uh, locked into red until the other can actually start driving again. Oh, and they just dropped two balls in that side goal that Mantis had been working on for a while with 20 seconds left. They're going for a side goal now, trying to save the match as best they can. It's seven of the, eight of the nine goals are red at the moment. Seven seconds remaining. <coughs> oh, and that's the end of the match. We'll see what the final score is officially. It's blinking. You think it blew might have won? It, it could be. <laughs> yeah, that blue ball doesn't count. All right, final score, we have red 68, blue 3. Thank you, guys. You may collect your robots from the field, and we'll be getting ready for um, the final matchup, best of three, between the two victor teams.
right, we've got our final matches. Two or three matches here coming up. Everybody to the field. We've got 2142E and 2142B going up against 56J on blue and 2142D on blue. Come on down. That was pretty close to on time. <laughs> we were pretty close to on time. Probably going to run over by a few minutes, but no, not at all. All right, robots are getting on the field here for the first of the best of three. <coughs> Looks like we have some uh, Auton contenders on the Blue Alliance. They've both shown potential success along those lines, and I think we only have one autonomous robot that we're expecting anyway on the red side. We'll have to see what happens there. Yeah, that's a good way to end the autonomous round, right there. I almost did a mic drop there. Okay. All right. Red team, are you prepared, red team? All right, blue team, looks like you're almost prepared.
All right, blue team, are you ready? Red team, are you ready? Billy, you ready? Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go! All right, we have a blue scored. We've got a triple red score. We've got another blue tower. And, oh boy, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That's looking almost like a tie. Oh no, it, it isn't a tie. I think, I think red has gotten it by one perhaps. Yeah, but you only have, you have three reds here. They only have two blues. They've got, you've got one more red on the, in the, in the gold. All right, so red takes autonomous by one point. All right, driver control in three, two, one, go. Okay, the angry dung beetles right at it again, pushing the scorpion around. Scorpion's locked tight into that center goal. Dung beetle can't move them. And Cape J, in the meantime, is going around and handling, switching everything over to blue while Flat Earth is coming after them, doing their best to keep up. This is going to be a tight match. It looks like the, uh, it looks like the dung beetle is uh, keeping the scorpion busy while Flat Earth and Long Earth duke it out for Masters of the Towers. With 42 seconds left, it's anybody's game. Although it does look like Blue has a bit of an edge here. 26 seconds left, it's coming down, it's a nail biter folks. Blue is working on a row. They've got a home row now. Oh, they just lost it. Oh, they've got it again. Five seconds left. Oh, they got a row. oh, but they got a row down the middle. They snuck, Blue snuck in the middle and, and negated the autonomous win. This was a tight match, guys. It comes down to whoever has the most balls scored. Eleven. What is it? Eight to eleven. Yeah, I think you guys won. I think so. <laughs> you, you guys just have a tray base that doesn't take your tray back. That's, no, the other one. He doesn't run the other one. It would be over. That's about right. <laughs> All right, we're waiting for the final score. All right, we 
we have 15 to 17. Blue wins the first round of the final. A mild upset. All right, clear your robots off the field to give you a few minutes to cool down your motors and get the field reset and go for round two.
right. Red team, get your robots on the field. It looks like we've got a slight <laughs> going on here. Hayden O'Connell is taking control of the 2142E robot, and Elliot Collins is taking care of the dung beetle. <clears throat> It, it looks like this is an, uh, a bait and switch here. And it looks like Mara's standing in between, giving them instructions on what to do. All right, we're doing our final adjustments for setup. This is a do or die for the red team, the Red Alliance. If they don't win this match, it goes to Cape Elizabeth and Scorpion. If they win this match, we go to a final third match to see who comes out on top. All right, red team, are you ready? Blue team, are you ready? Referee Billy B. Autonomous, in three, two, one, go! All right, we have the same old, same old here going on. We've got a, looks like a triple score in for blue, I mean for red, and the D4, oh yes, we have a, a rogue blue ball over the line. Yeah. Red wins autonomous. Driver control. In three, two, one, go. Okay, Elliot's going really aggressive here. And uh, Hayden is uh, making short work of these towers. But 56J is coming right in. It looks like there's some pinning going on here. Slowing down 56J's maneuvers. But Flat Earth has already almost scored all of the towers. It's got two to go, three to go. Keeping a little bit further ahead. Look at that jumble of robots there on the field. Flat Earth has zoomed right out of that little mess. One minute remaining. Okay, we're clearing out a corner goal here now. And a side goal. Blue is coming back. They're really making a run for it. The uh, red team, though, is cycling those goals. <laughs> This blue is putting them up. It's going to be a close one. 24 seconds left. Seventeen seconds. Looks like they're going for the center one now with nine seconds left. All towers are red. All right, we're waiting for the final score. This does not look good for blue. I think we're probably going to a third round.
right, we have a final score of 67 to 3. Red wins. Okay, go ahead and uh, reset the field, get your robots, tidy them up, and we'll go to the third round. See who takes the title of the John Baptist Vex season finale, the last tournament of the season before Worlds, guaranteed. Did you lose a motor? <laughs> Did it fall underneath the other robot? No, no. <laughs> Where's the insert? <laughs>
Thank you.